At first glance, Antarctica appears to be a frozen wasteland, but hidden below the icy exterior are mysteries that have left even modern scientists bewildered. From otherworldly meteorites to tangled underground caves, join us as we show you the 20 discoveries in Antarctica that could reshape history. Number 20. Meteorite Fragments Antarctica's icy expanse harbors a treasure trove of pristine meteorite specimens with thousands scattered across the remote, windswept landscape. Preserved by the perpetually cold, dry climate that prevents weathering, this fragile continent has accumulated the highest concentration of meteorites on Earth. Among these extraterrestrial fragments, one stood out for its potential scientific significance, Allen Hills 84001. This palm-sized black celestial wanderer was serendipitously discovered in 1984 encased in ice near the Allen Hills. What began as a routine Antarctic research expedition took an unexpected turn that day. Upon mineralogical analysis, the meteorite diverged from typical specimens, bearing a striking resemblance to Martian soil samples examined by NASA's Viking landers. As researchers investigated further, they proposed a fascinating narrative. Dated to about 3.5 billion years old, the meteorite appeared violently ejected from Mars by an ancient asteroid impact, embarking on an interplanetary odyssey before its fortuitous Antarctic landfall. Most provocatively, 1990s microscopic analysis suggested the presence of tiny structures and organic compounds. While disputed, some believed these microscopic features indicated ancient Martian microbial life, which would constitute unprecedented evidence of alien life forms. The Allen Hills meteorite is not alone in raising profound questions. Equally mesmerizing is Fukang, a glittering golden meteorite unearthed from the Antarctic ice in 2000. Originating from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It dazzles with breathtaking yellow olivine crystals suffused throughout its mass. Weighing over 1,300 pounds initially, Fukang exemplifies the astonishing natural beauty that falls from outer space. Number 19. The Lost Wallet. In a remarkable story spanning over half a century, a wallet lost in Antarctica in the 1960s was miraculously returned to its owner in 2021. The wallet belonged to Paul Grisham, a former Navy meteorologist who was stationed at McMurdo Station in Antarctica in the late 1960s. During Grisham's time on the icy continent from 1967 to 1968, he accidentally left his wallet behind at the science station. The wallet remained lodged behind a locker, perfectly preserved in Antarctica's perpetually freezing temperatures. In 2014, over 45 years later, workers demolishing a building at McMurdo Station came across the weathered leather wallet wedged in a crevice. Inside, the wallet contained remnants of Grisham's life and service, his Navy ID card, a beer ration punch card, receipts for money sent to his wife, and more. Despite this trove of information, locating the 91-year-old Grisham in the modern day took serious detective work. Stephen Decato, an Air Force veteran, embarked on a six-year mission to track down the original owner. After tireless searching, Decato finally got in touch with Grisham in 2020. Upon receiving his long-lost wallet, Grisham was amazed that such an insignificant item still survived. Of the items returned, Grisham was especially astounded to find the recipe for homemade Kahlua he carried during his time on the ice. Number 18. Ancient Penguin Graveyard in 2016, researchers in Antarctica made an astonishing discovery, a graveyard of perfectly preserved penguin remains dating back over 5,000 years. The mummified corpses were uncovered at Cape Irazar, located just south of the Drigalski Ice Tongue on the Scott Coast. As the team dug deeper, they uncovered layers of penguin bones, fossils, and even decaying bodies that appeared surprisingly fresh. Radiocarbon dating of the remains revealed that this site functioned as an Adili penguin breeding colony on at least three separate occasions over thousands of years. The most recent occupation ended around 800 years ago, likely due to increasing snow levels during the Little Ice Age. The older penguin occupants enjoyed more favorable breeding conditions approximately 5,000 years ago. The Dry Valley's extreme environment played a key role in preserving this frozen moment in time. The fact that some mummified penguins were in better condition than others indicates shifts between periods of climate change. This graveyard provides unprecedented insights into how Antarctica's as ancient penguin residents adapted to changing conditions over millennia. Number 17. Colossal Squid Expedition 
The colossal squid is one of the most elusive creatures in the ocean, with only a few recorded sightings. In 2022, a groundbreaking expedition was launched to uncover the mysteries surrounding this mammoth cephalopod. The undertaking is led by the non-profit Colossal, in partnership with marine biologists and polar tourism companies. Their goal is to successfully observe and study live colossal squid in their natural Antarctic habitat before 2025. Reaching lengths over 40 feet, the colossal squid represents the largest invertebrate on Earth. It inhabits an alien realm over 6,000 feet beneath the ocean surface. To access this extreme environment, the expedition will be equipped with specialized cameras and lights. By examining these giants up close, researchers hope to better understand their anatomy, vision, feeding ecology, and behaviors. Key questions remain about how the squid employs their basketball-sized eyes and whether they exhibit bioluminescence. Unlocking these secrets will provide insights into deep-sea adaptation, as well as predator-prey interactions. As 2025 marks the 100th anniversary of the colossal squid's discovery, this mission strives to honor that milestone through trailblazing revelations about one of the most astounding examples of gigantism in the animal kingdom. Number 16. Icefish Colony in 2021, scientists exploring Antarctica's Weddell Sea uncovered a thriving hotspot for one of the most unique fish on Earth, the ice fish. This species is the only vertebrate with transparent blood, owing to adaptations that allow it to survive without hemoglobin. During routine seafloor mapping, researchers were amazed to discover a sprawling ice fish breeding colony of staggering proportions. The network of nests blanketed 240 square kilometers of seabed, or about the size of Malta. Each nest contained up to 2,500 eggs guarded by an adult ice fish. In total, the team documented over 60 million active nests, representing one of the largest animal colonies ever discovered. This flourishing ice fish metropolis represents a vital Antarctic food source, with around 90% of local Weddell seals observed diving within the colony's boundaries. This revelation adds a major missing piece to the Weddell Sea ecosystem puzzle. Prior to this discovery, the existence of such a huge ice fish population was entirely unknown. It also expands understanding of the Antarctic continental shelf food web. The ice fish colony's sensitivity to climate fluctuations makes it a critical indicator for monitoring Antarctic ocean health. As de facto ecosystem engineers, these translucent creatures and their nesting grounds deserve continued protection and study. Number 15. Factorian Deep Earth's extremes continue to astound us. In 2019, explorers charting the seafloor of Antarctica's southern ocean identified the deepest point on the planet's surface, the Factorian Deep. Plunging to a colossal depth of 24,400 feet below sea level, this newly named abyss sits at the bottom of the South Sandwich Trench off the coast of Antarctica. To reach these Stygian depths, explorers had to design innovative robotic submersibles like the appropriately named Limiting Factor. Over 1,200 individual sonar maps mappings were pieced together to create the first complete bathymetric map of the Southern Ocean seafloor. This revealed the trench's full form, a 600-mile-long gash in the ocean bottom framed by two tectonic plates along the remote gap separating South America and Antarctica. The discovery of the Factorian Deep expands our knowledge of Antarctic submarine geography. It also highlights how little of the global seafloor has actually been directly measured. New ambitious mapping initiatives like Seabed 2030 seek to remedy this by collaboratively canvassing the entire ocean floor within the next decade. As more of Antarctica's deep sea realm is illuminated, there is no telling what other abysses remain concealed in the icy darkness. Number 14. Thriving Phytoplankton Phytoplankton are microscopic organisms that form the foundation of the marine food web. Despite Antarctica's reputation as a frigid wasteland, these tiny drifters are miraculously thriving across the continent's coastal waters. For years, scientists believed perennial sea ice blocked out too much sunlight to support significant phytoplankton growth. However, research innovations have uncovered the truth. Underwater robots and satellites like NASA's IceSat-2 revealed that Antarctica's ice pack is riddled with cracks and openings that that allow sunlight to filter down. These microscopic phytoplankton have adapted to capitalize on any sliver of light, multiplying across meltwater surface layers and blooming spots. Just like swaying grasslands on land, phytoplankton meadows carpet Antarctica's illuminated seascapes. Researchers are now gaining a clearer picture of how phytoplankton have adapted to the extremes of sea ice zone habitat. These minute photosynthetic drifters support the entire Southern Ocean food web, from shrimp-like krill to whales, penguins, and seals. Unlocking the mysteries of phytoplankton resilience even in Antarctica's darkest reaches illustrates how life leverages creativity to overcome environmental challenges. 
Number 13. The Forbidden Sector Antarctica contains a prohibited region shrouded in mystery, where only authorized individuals can enter. Known vaguely as the Forbidden Sector, conspiracy theorists believe this secluded area on the icy continent harbors strange secrets. The prohibited zone falls under the jurisdiction of the Antarctic Treaty System, which preserves the continent for peaceful scientific research. Officials claim the Forbidden Sector protects emperor penguin breeding grounds from human interference. However, the vagueness surrounding the zone makes many speculate that clandestine activities take place there. Some believe hidden bases study extraterrestrials, exotic energy sources, or advanced technologies. Others think secret excavations are underway, searching for the remains of ancient civilizations buried beneath the ice. Of course, governments deny these theories, yet provide no further details about the prohibited sector. Its remote location far from populated bases only deepens the enigma. For now, the secrets contained within this Antarctic no-fly zone remain entombed in ice, waiting to to be unearthed. Until transparency is given, the Forbidden Sector will continue fueling fevered speculation about what exactly world powers could be concealing in Antarctica's most secluded frontier. Number 12. Subterranean Lakes the frigid surface of Antarctica conceals a surprisingly dynamic world below. Across the Antarctic continent, researchers have discovered around 400 subglacial lakes lurking beneath the ice. These enigmatic bodies of water exist in complete darkness, cut off from sunlight for potentially millions of years. Lake Vostok is one of the largest subglacial lakes on Earth. It is approximately the size of Lake Ontario, buried under 2.5 miles of Antarctic ice. These lakes are remnants from the distant past when Antarctica Antarctica had an entirely different climate. As Antarctica cooled into an icy desert, surface lakes became entombed below expanding glaciers. The extreme pressure from the sheer weight of overlying ice allows the lake water to remain liquid at temperatures well below freezing. Some contain unique ecosystems complete with microorganisms adapted to the alien conditions. Studying these isolated waters provides insights into Antarctica's history. Meanwhile, the search continues for more hidden lakes, with some estimates suggesting over 1,000 thousand exist across the continent. What other finds lurk beneath Antarctica's ice, awaiting discovery? The possibilities remain literally endless given that over 90% of the continent's bedrock is obscured from view. Number 11. The Only Crime at the South Pole in 2000, Australian astrophysicist Rodney Marks became the first and only victim of a suspicious death in Antarctica's history. That year, the seasoned researcher was overwintering at the remote South Pole station when he suddenly fell gravely ill. His health rapidly deteriorated over a few hours, and he tragically died at just 32 years old. An autopsy revealed high concentrations of methanol in his system, a toxic chemical likely impossible to ingest accidentally in such a dose. The source of the methanol was totally unclear, and Marx had no discernible reason to consume it deliberately. Foul play was immediately suspected. Marx's shocking demise triggered the first and only criminal investigation on the frozen continent. Falling under Australian jurisdiction, the daunting inquest relied on New Zealand police forensic experts, but performing forensic analysis in Antarctica's harsh conditions proved enormously challenging. After extensive interviews yielded few clues, authorities closed the unresolved case in 2007. Marx's mysterious death remains clouded in perpetual ambiguity. With the case abandoned for lack of evidence, endless speculation swirls over whether the methanol was somehow deliberately administered. The truth of what transpired that day in 2000 at one of Earth's most remote locations seems destined to remain forever buried in ice. Number 10. Century-Old Fruitcake in 2017, Antarctic conservators made a startling discovery, a perfectly intact 100-year-old fruitcake tucked inside a crumbling explorer hut. The remarkably well-preserved cake was left behind in 1911 by Robert Falcon Scott's Terra Nova expedition and found in Cape Adair still wrapped in paper and sitting on a shelf. Despite its century-long abandonment in Antarctica's punishing climate, the fruitcake looked disturbingly edible according to conservators. It retained a scent of fruit, and a leathery texture reminiscent of brick rather than sponge cake. Of course, no one dared sample the antique pastry for safety and preservation reasons. The Antarctica has unparalleled preservative qualities. In this frozen abyss, even perishable organic matter emerges unscathed through the decades. Today, this relic from the golden era of Antarctic exploration resides in New Zealand's Canterbury Museum. Number 9. Giant Hole in Ice Sheet 
In 2017, a periodic hole in Antarctica's sea ice dubbed the Maud Rise Polynya reappeared after four decades of dormancy. This enormous opening, or Polynya, stretched across an area larger than the state of Maryland. While it was at its peak size, the Polynya constituted the second largest ice-free gap in Antarctica's oceans since accurate satellite records began in the 1970s. This recurring phenomenon forms as a result of warm, nutrient-rich deep water welling up and melting surface sea ice. However, the Polynya's intermittent nature remains puzzling to scientists. After appearing annually from 1974 to 1976, it abruptly vanished for decades. Experts speculate that human-caused impacts on the Southern Ocean may be influencing the Polynya's cycles. Even more perplexing, the latest Polynya opening wasn't nearly as sizable as in the 1970s, despite recent climate shifts. Understanding what triggers and sustains these fleeting bursts of open water has significance for Antarctica's marine ecosystems. Polyn Polynyas allow sunlight and air to penetrate, fueling phytoplankton blooms that propagate up the food chain. Unlocking the Polynya's secrets will yield insights into Antarctica's future climate shifts and impacts on ocean life. Number 8. Frozen Pyramids this small archaeological site in Antarctica could rewrite human history. Antarctica has long been rumored to house ancient pyramid structures, and new evidence may support this claim. In 2016, satellite images revealed an architecturally precise pyramid partially buried beneath Antarctic ice. The pyramid's sloping face and geometric shape mirrors that of the Great Pyramid of Giza. However, at over 900 feet tall, this Antarctic edifice would dwarf even the largest Egyptian pyramids. The anomaly rests deep within Antarctica's El Worth Mountains, whose peaks protrude through the ice sheet. This location, hundreds of miles from ocean access, challenges notions that human construction was behind it. Some speculate the pyramid is evidence of advanced pre-human Antarctic civilizations. Others posit it was crafted through alien intervention to serve as a monument or outpost. Of course, mainstream science favors more mundane explanations. They propose the pyramidal rock likely formed through natural weathering patterns exploiting pre-existing joints in the bedrock. However, the structure's incredible scale and architectural precision keep conspiracists buzzing. If any artifacts or links to its creators are entombed inside, we may one day learn the truth of its origins. For now, Antarctica's Great Pyramid endures as an enduring enigma at the bottom of the world. Number 7. 66 Million Year Old Egg in 2000 Elvin, Chilean scientists were astonished to uncover a gargantuan fossilized reptile egg measuring over 11 inches long, the largest ever found in Antarctica. Nicknamed The Thing, this mysterious 66-million-year-old egg confounded experts for years. Eventually, clues revealed it likely originated from the volcanic birth of a colossal marine reptile called a mosasaur. Mosasaurs were carnivorous aquatic lizards flourishing during the late Cretaceous, sharing seas with dinosaurs and pterosaurs. Growing over 50 feet long, these apex predators assumed a niche similar to modern sharks. The egg's proportions and thin shell suggest unique mosasaur adaptations for reproducing at gigantic sizes. Researchers theorize female mosasaurs traveled ashore to lay eggs, then helped new hatchlings hastily reach offshore waters. This is supported by skeletal remains of adult mosasaurs and plesiosaurs found nearby. Mosasaur young would be vulnerable on land to predators like Tyrannosaurus rex. This exceptional egg provides rare insights into the reproduction and parenting behavior of these extinct marine leviathans. Chilean scientists consider it just the tip of the iceberg in terms of Antarctic paleontological potential. Mosasaurs and other Cretaceous behemoths undoubtedly left behind more clues waiting patiently encased in Antarctic ice, ready to unearth. Number 6. Antarctica and Polynesian Seafarers Fresh evidence suggests Antarctica was discovered not by lauded European explorers, but by ingenious Polynesian voyagers centuries earlier. The heroic age of Antarctic exploration is conventionally traced to Russian Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen, who first sighted the continent in 1820. However, a revisionist view credits Polynesian seafarers with reaching frigid Antarctic waters nearly 600 years prior. This astounding possibility emerges from translated Maori oral histories describing a chief named Ui Rangiora. According to mythic tales, he journeyed far south around 650 AD, returning with accounts of immense icebergs and flows. Some scholars believe these stories indicate that Uite Rangiora reached Antarctica's perimeter. Supporting this are intricate bone and wooden carvings depicting what resemble ice-covered lands. If accurate, this revelation would be a momentous recalibration of Antarctica's discovery. It would recognize ingenious Pacific Island mariners with navigational skills matching indigenous Arctic peoples. These voyagers 
adventurers settled the vast Pacific using celestial navigation and knowledge of sea routes preserved for generations. The legacy of intrepid Polynesians merits a claim for trailblazing one of Earth's last uncharted frontiers, centuries ahead of other civilizations. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. This small archaeological site in Antarctica could rewrite human history. In 1946, the American explorer Admiral Richard Byrd claimed to have had an incredible experience while on an expedition in Antarctica. He reported discovering a city made entirely of a strange crystalline ice. This unusual finding hinted that there may be more to reality than meets the eye. As Byrd told it, he came across smooth tunnels and valleys of sparkling ice towers. The ice structures almost seemed to have their own inner glow. In this icy landscape hidden under Antarctica's surface, he incredibly came upon a community living in neat ice houses. Skeptics wonder if the isolation and harsh conditions could have caused Byrd to hallucinate or experience a kind of madness. But occasional strange satellite images of Antarctica keep coming up which show strange structures. So maybe Byrd really did see a hidden city in the ice. What do you think? Does this polar explorer's story reveal hidden truths? Or is it more likely a fiction conceived in isolation? Let us know in the comments. Number 5. Million-Year-Old DNA in an unprecedented evolutionary discovery, researchers have extracted one million-year-old DNA buried beneath Antarctica's oceans. This ancient genetic material grants an extraordinary window into extinct Antarctic marine life dating back over one million years. The age-defying DNA was collected from seafloor sediment 584 feet down in Antarctica's Scotia Sea. The sample originates from a time period 800,000 years earlier than the oldest DNA previously recovered. While the the exact organisms the DNA originates from remain unidentified. The samples are from microbial eukaryotes that inhabited Antarctica's oceans during the Middle Pleistocene era. The CDA DNA was able to survive such an astonishing length of time due to Antarctica's ideal preservation conditions. While the exact source organism remains unknown, the genetic echoes derived from microbial eukaryotes inhabiting Antarctica's seas during the Middle Pleistocene. Antarctica's primeval cold has created a frozen archive preserving genetic records across geological ages. The permanent chill and glacially slow sediment accumulation rate have allowed organic matter to survive millions of years largely intact. As one scientist stated, every single cell is a time capsule. This breakthrough study demonstrates Antarctica's immense potential for unlocking evolutionary tales from its progenitor days. The continent surely cradles countless more genetic clues silently awaiting extraction. As remote sensing and drilling techniques improve, researchers anticipate exhuming multi-million-year-old Antarctic organisms such as 40-million-year-old mosses. This alien icy realm likely hides an untapped precious trove of biological history within its permanent frozen sediments. Number 4. Mystery of the Blood Falls the macabre blood falls in Antarctica's McMurdo Dry Valleys have long captivated researchers with their chilling crimson flows. This bizarre waterfall oozes from the face of the Taylor Glacier into the frigid waters of Lake Bonnie below. The deep blood-red liquid starkly contrasts the stark white icy landscape, looking ominously like flowing blood. For decades, scientists debated the origins of blood falls gruesome coloration. Early hypotheses attributed it to the presence of red algae. However, the harsh conditions of the dry valleys make photosynthetic algae an unlikely source. Other theories involved the oxidation of iron minerals or unusual bacteria. The mystery was finally unlocked in 2017 using radar technology to peer inside the glacier-feeding blood falls. Researchers discovered that an iron-rich, hypersaline liquid from an ancient subsurface lake was responsible for the vivid red hue. This brine originated from an ancient lake that now sits entirely sealed off beneath the glacier. Over millions of years, the trapped brine grew increasingly saline as water escaped as ice while salts concentrated. This together with the high iron content allows the subglacial liquid to remain in fluid form despite temperatures averaging negative 17 degrees Celsius. When the iron-rich brine comes into contact with oxygen at blood falls, it oxidizes and turns vivid red. Number 3. UFO Buried in Snow Antarctica has long been a hotbed for UFO activity. In 2021, a baffling new discovery in satellite images amplified speculation that evidence of extraterrestrial visitors could be entombed on the icy continent. The images from Google Earth reveal a 200-foot-wide trough gouged out of the untracked snow surface. This unexplained indentation exhibiting no disturbance around it appears intentionally created. Russian UFO researcher Valentin Degterev, who initially 
initially uncovered the anomaly, proposed the trench-like trace marks a crashed and buried UFO. Skeptics argue the feature is simply a naturally formed ice crevasse. However, its sharp geometry and placement in Antarctica's remote interior far from mapped fissure zones raise eyebrows. Some connect this to unusual Antarctic sightings like flashing red and green lights near the South Pole in 1965. Navy engineers also reportedly unearthed a saucer-shaped craft while boring ice cores in the 1960s before things mysteriously went silent. If artifacts of alien visitors do lie preserved beneath the ice, Antarctica's fluctuating climate could soon expose them as ancient burial sites melt out of the ice. For now, we can only speculate about the true origins and purpose behind this cryptic Antarctic depression. Number 2. Tunnels as tall as the Eiffel Tower a network of truly enormous tunnels has been discovered deep beneath Antarctica's ice sheet. These channels carved through the underside of the ice are astonishingly large, comparable in height to Paris's Eiffel Tower. The caverns first came into focus in January 2019, when scientists flew radars over the Filchner Rhone ice shelf. They discovered immense tunnels measuring up to 1,000 feet tall, completely eroded upwards into the ice. The tunnels likely formed from warm ocean water circulating up under the ice shelves and melting the roof of the cavity. In some spots, beams of sunlight streaming through the ice illuminate these glittering cathedrals. Researchers call them upside-down rivers, flowing unpredictably in different directions each year. Their sheer size and complexity have shocked scientists. Far more meltwater flows beneath Antarctica than previously estimated, influencing conditions at the grounding line where ice meets the ocean. Learning more about these massive upside-down rivers will help scientists model Antarctica's response to climate change. The discovery highlights how much more remains undiscovered even in Earth's most remote frontiers. Number 1. Third Man Factor in the blank white wastes of Antarctica, explorers have reported bizarre experiences of being joined by a mysterious presence during times of extreme hardship. Known as the third man factor, the phenomenon frequently manifests for travelers in peril. Lonely solo expeditions are when Antarctic adventurers most commonly describe sensing this unseen companion. Ernest Shackleton called Antarctica's South Georgia Island the worst place in the world, yet he and two companions crossed it unguided, saved by a palpable fourth man. Similar Similar accounts of a guiding presence materialize in the diaries of Mawson, Amundsen, and Scott during their Antarctic ordeals. This third man offers hope, focus, and vital guidance, credited with saving lives in hopeless situations. Scientific explanations for the third man phenomenon range from hallucination to divine intervention. However, the frequency and consistency of these reports is astonishing. Even rational explorers acknowledge the reality of the third man's guidance in retrospect. Antarctica's disorienting whiteouts, isolation, and harsh climate seem to summon this mysterious guardian. Next time you hear of someone surviving alone against impossible Antarctic odds, the third man is likely hard at work, sculpting yet another incredible story of human endurance. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.